Hey everyone, welcome to another video on Express. In this video, we'll be talking about middlewares, right? So as previously, we have discussed about how you can use routes, how you can create routes, how to use the request response object, how a request is sent, how a response is received, and all that stuff. In this video, we'll be talking about the heart and soul of Express that are middlewares. Without middlewares, I don't think there will be anything called as Express because Express totally depends on middlewares. Right. So let's see what actually are middlewares. Okay. So before moving on to uh, writing some middlewares and all that stuff, let's go to uh, open board and try to understand that what actually are middlewares. Okay. So I'll just uh, take some uh, very simple examples to make you understand. So what actually are middlewares? Right. Okay. So as the name suggests, middle. So uh, we can think about it as that these are some functions which works to handle your requests in a better way. Right? And what better way is that? Okay. So suppose that you are basically on uh, some uh, application where you need to authenticate yourself. So what you will do, you will just send a request to that particular server where you need to be authenticated and imagine, will you directly receive a response or will you have to go through some authentication and login sign up process? Yes, you will have to go through those login sign up process, right? So if you create a function over here that actually checks for this response, this request that, okay, this particular user has requested to log in. Now he'll have to go through this particular function before we will send him the response of that page, right? Suppose you're on Instagram and what do you want to do is you want to log in and then you want to log in, right? So you log in with your credentials and then this function will check that, hey, if the credentials are true, if, if it is matching with the credentials on the database or not, and then it will allow you to go past that particular function and then it will serve you with the response. So what function is this exactly? This is a middleware, right? Again, suppose that if you're trying to access any website that uh, requires age verification, right? So what you will do is you will again send a request to that particular website server. And now you have to again go through a function that will check if you are over 18 or not, right? If your age is uh, greater than 18 or not, uh, it's right age, right? So only if your uh, age is particularly greater than 18, then only you will be allowed to access that particular website. and uh, then only the response will be sent to you, right? Okay, age greater than 18. If your age is greater than 18, right? So like that. So this is how your middleware works. So these functions, what are these? These are your middlewares. So any function that is between your request and response, which will help you to actually handle your request in a better way are known as middlewares. That's it, right? Now suppose that you are in a website that requires both of these functions, right? Both of these functions. So will it be nice to uh, actually write every business logic inside one function only and create only one middleware? No, it won't be right. So Express allows us to create multiple middleware in our application, right? Whatever your business logic is, you can basically incorporate all those logics into different middlewares and then you can allow your request to pass through all those middlewares, to pass all the checks, to pass all you need and then you will send your final response to that particular user. In this way, you can chain multiple middlewares with each other which will perform different tasks and will serve you with the final response. Right? This is how middlewares work. Now, let's go to uh, our IDE. Let's uh, try to code some middleware and see how these middlewares work and how can you make them work? How can you use them? Okay. Let's jump onto it. Uh, okay, so we are here and now you can see that we already have these particular routes created. Uh, we created all this in our previous video. If you are coming directly to this video, I strongly recommend uh, you to go and watch the previous video first. Okay. 
So here we have already two routes created. Now let's take an example and see that if we want to authenticate a particular user, how can we use a middleware to do that, right? So what I will do is I'll just say that this is my login page. Let's just uh, uh, keep it that way only, just a forward slash, okay? So just understand that this is our login page where a user have to log in, right? So this is the first page that you will see whenever you will uh, uh, try to access any website, right? So the first page is always the authentication sign up login page, right? So that page it is. And now let's create this route as profile page. Okay. And let's create one another route. And let's say this is the home page, feed page, right? So this is how we have three different routes. This is for login. This is our profile page where a user can see his uh, profile and tweet page where user can see different people's post and all. Suppose we are in a social media application. All right. This is how we have three routes. Now let's just start the server. So I'll just go into app.js. Uh, I'll open this with integrated terminal and I'll say node non app.js. Okay. So the port is running on 8000. Let's go and let's check for that. So localhost 8000, right? All right. So you can see hello from Scala. And now basically this is our login page. So let's just make it our, our login page, right? So what we'll do over here is we'll just say that this is login page. Okay. So here we are in our login page. This is uh, the profile page and this is the user page or feed page. Okay. So we have these three pages. So whenever we'll try to uh, route in between these three pages, so let's refresh this and you can see that this is the beauty of Nodemon actually that you do not have to start your server again whenever you are making some changes. It automatically detects those changes and it will not uh, uh, let your server stop, right? So that's why we're using Nodemon to uh, run our uh, server. Okay. So this is a login page basically, right? Now if I go to the profile page, so let's go to profile page. You can see we are allowed right now to go inside the profile page. And if we uh, write over feed page over here, you can see we are allowed to go to the feed page also. But if we are on the login page, if we are on the login page right now, first we should be logged in to access the profile page and the feed page, right? But here we are able to do that. So let's create a middleware that will actually check that if we are sending the request and now if we are authenticated or not. And after that only, it will allow us to move to the feed page and profile page. Okay. So let's just create one middleware. So how do you create a middleware? Middleware is a simple function. As I told you, it is a simple function that will allow you to handle your request in a better way, right? So it's a simple function. So let's create a function and I'll just say login middleware. I'll just name this function as login middleware. Okay. And now inside this function, it accepts two things. Again, it will uh, accept your request and it will accept your response. Okay. And inside this, let's write console log. I am the login middleware. Okay. And now how do you call this particular? Middleware? So, in express, there is one method that is given by express to you is that app dot use. Okay. So let's go over here and let's say app dot use and here we'll pass our login middle. Okay. So this is your, uh, basically the, uh, home page, the first page that you see. So we do not need to add some middleware for this. So we're adding a middleware after this page so that we can access this page uh, with, without anything without logging in or authenticating but after this we need to pass from this particular function okay we need to pass from this particular function and when we have passed over from this particular function when this particular function has allowed us that okay you can go forward only then we can access our profile page and feed page okay so let's just see how uh, all of this will work okay let me just uh, run this server again so i want to show you something let's go to the terminal and let's see. So you can see port running and let me just uh, close everything first and we will run this server again. Node on app.js. Okay. So our server is running again and let's go back and see. Okay. So let me just go to our 8000. We just refresh it again. On one and 
app.js. Let's open uh, the particular server again. Okay, so we are now at a freshly opened server page. So we are basically at the login page. Now let's try to access the profile page. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go to profile page. So now you see that this keeps on loading and it's not actually allowing us to move forward. Right? And we have uh, used a login middleware, but it is still not allowing us to move forward. And why it is like that? It is like that because as I told you that the login, uh, basically the middleware takes two parameters, request and response. It's not like that. It takes three parameters. One is the next method also. Right? So you have to use this next method in order to access the next route in the sequence. Right? So now if I go over here and if I call this next, that okay, after passing from this login middleware, now let me allow to go past those particular that particular function. Now you can see that now I'm able to access the profile page and now I'll be able to access the feed page. Right? Because I have written a middleware over here, which will allow me to do, do that. Right? Now let's create a simple thing to understand this better. Right? So this login middleware will only allow us when we will be using this next method to go forward. So what we can do is we can just say, we can just create a variable over here and I'll say, let name is this and let's create a password. Password is suppose I'm keeping this as my password. Okay. So this is a particular user now only when this name will be encountered. And for that, this password will be encountered, will be allowing this middleware to go forward, right? So what we can do is we can just go over here. We can say if name, let's take uh, some parameters over here, right? Name, uh, let me pass my name over here. And then I will say, and password should be this, right? And password double equal to should be this, right? Let's check one, two, three, five, six, seven and name. Okay. So only then allow to go further. So only then execute the next function, right? Or else what you can do is you can response dot send that, Hey, we cannot authenticate you. Cannot authenticate the user. All right. So now you see that I have this particular name and uh, password over here. So if this name and password are on, uh, this only, right? So if they matches over here, only then we'll allow to uh, go next. It doesn't, we won't be allowing it to go next. Okay. So let's go and uh, let's uh, refresh this. We can see profile page because right now the password and the name is matching. Let's go to the home page, login page, and let's go to the feed page. So we can access every page right now. but. Let's change the password and let's change the name. Let's change any one of those things, right? So we'll just go over here and let's change the password to something like this. So now the password doesn't matches this particular term, right? So just imagine that this password is coming from the database where the password is stored. So we have entered a wrong password now. So the password isn't matching. So uh, basically should the server allow us to the server send the response back and show us the profile or feed page for that particular user? No, it shouldn't, right? Because the passwords are not matching. Now, if you see, if I refresh this feed page, it will say cannot authenticate the user. Now, if you go to the profile page, it will again say cannot authenticate the user, but you can always access the home page. That is the basic login page. So this is how what you can do is you can use middlewares to execute different features, different tasks, right? So here we have just created a very minimal uh, or uh, you can say a very static way of uh, using authentication as a middleware. Uh, you can also use different things, right? You can also uh, check for some age verification. You can also check for uh, different things, right? So this is how a middleware can be used with uh, routing, right? So you can uh, always use a middleware and you can always specify your task inside this that, okay, only allow the different types of routing if this condition satisfies.
right? So only allow a user to access these all pages if the user is logged in. So we have created a very basic middleware way. So this is our middleware. Right? So more on middlewares on the later videos, right? So let's just uh, summarize this up once and for all. So basically what are middlewares? Middlewares are just the funnels. So if I go to the next page and if I say that for your request, you can use different middlewares which will act as funnels. All right, your request will go through different funnels and when all the middlewares are passed, you will be uh, served with your final response. So this is our middleware. Thank you so much for watching the video. In the next set of videos, we'll also see that how can you pass your uh, credentials or how can you pass uh, basically these values in your request parameter as well. As we have passed this uh, statically right here, so if, if we are if we are creating uh, two variables and we are passing it over here like that. So this is uh, actually not uh, how you will be working with Express, right? So you will always have to uh, provide uh, the request and inside that request you will be passing a variable so you'll see that how can you use this uh, request object and you can pass your credentials with using this request object all right see you on the next video i hope you like this video uh, remember to subscribe to the channel press the bell icon to receive the notifications for the next set of videos and keep learning keep scaling up thank you bye bye